Welcome to this demonstration of Cohesity's Data Protect VM Tag Management Operations. In this demo, I'm going to highlight one of the new management capabilities that was recently introduced in our latest 4.0 release. So I'll start the demonstration directly from the VCO Web Client in order to identify a number of virtual machines uh, in the infrastructure that have actually now been configured with a VM tag before I proceed with the creation of a protection job. So we can see here there's a number of virtual machines, uh, and as you can see, I'm highlighting uh, the tags sort of properties which is existing within the v Web Client. And you can see this a particular tag assigned to each one of these particular virtual machines. Now, the really good and cool feature about this capability is the fact that for environments that are extremely dynamic, where organizing or protecting or managing the infrastructure with the use of VM folders uh, is not as effective as it would potentially be based on uh, the, the dynamic capabilities and the way in which the infrastructure moves rapidly or, or, or virtual machines are quickly provisioned, uh, there's a way where by simply adding uh, a tag as a form of metadata, the Cohesity cluster will be able to successfully and very efficiently protect all of these particular virtual machines regardless of where they're located, whether they're in folders, nested folders, regardless of where they are uh, within the sort of catalog and very efficiently protect them, which is pretty important in the sense that it reduces a lot of the management and operational risks that can exist within the uh, within managing the infrastructure, uh, can uh, help you overcome and mitigate potential misses in terms of protecting certain types of application which are mission critical. It can have a complete total uh, you know, negative cost or impact to the business, to the infrastructure, whatnot. So something like this, it's, it's very powerful and very effective, and it becomes very handy in the enterprise, and particularly in really large sort of uh, virtual infrastructures. So let me start the creation of the protection job, uh, going back to the Cohesity cluster UI. Uh, going back to the same sort of process, very simple, choose a virtual machine protection job, uh, select uh, the policy. Obviously, there's an existing policy here that I'm going to use to make things a bit quicker. Um, click Next, provide a job description, something that would help be helpful, uh, and also a job as well. Then select the view box, where obviously the space efficiency features and capabilities will be applied based on that particular construct. And now we move on to uh, choosing the objects, and here's where we'll see how things are a bit different. So in the past, I've been able to demonstrate the new uh, folder hierarchy view. Obviously, you can see still that we can present the entire infrastructure from top down. But now what's new is that here, once we select the tags, notice how the tag field becomes available. And we also pull in whatever tags are created and are being used in vCenter, in the vSphere infrastructure. Uh, very quickly, we can add it as a job to protect it. And notice that that particular tag that is applied, which I demonstrated before, is going to identify the virtual machines that have been tagged with that particular uh, tag. And you can see how they're being highlighted here, and as I demonstrated them before in the vSphere environment, are the ones that are categorized with the SAP VM1 or 2. Now, you now also have the ability to individually protect them, or you can also do the auto protect, which in this case is applied at the tag level. Previously, I did a demonstration where it was applied at the folder level. In this case, is at the actual, uh, based on the tag, based on that particular uh, metadata uh, component. Now think about how efficient and how powerful this could be. When it comes to scenarios such as you know, hybrid cloud infrastructures where you have really large environments that traverse clouds and different data centers, uh, you now have the ability to protect these sort of applications in a way that you haven't been able to do so before. But also one of the biggest accomplishments is that you are eliminating risks. You are now introducing the protection of your applications uh, the guarding of uh, you know sensitive information that needs to be uh, protected and, and backed up as part of a day one sort of operating function by simply adopting the, the 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 operating model of adding tags within vSphere, you'll now be able to guarantee uh, the the safe protection of every application that gets deployed based on a particular uh, metadata property. In this particular case, the VM tags. That is very powerful. Uh, in the world that we live in today where you know uh, we, we as humans are a big risk and we tend to forget to do many things um, with this particular approach we make things a lot easier and better so let's also look at 
what happens if, you know, sure, today we have a number of virtual machines, much like I demonstrated before with the folders. But as you can see here, I'm going to, let's say there's another virtual machine that was deployed within the vSphere infrastructure. Uh, it's being assigned a tag. Now, I don't want to have to go back and change the job, update the job, obviously, because that becomes a management nightmare. And it also exposes you to a lot of risks. So the important thing here is that by simply adding the tag to these to this new virtual machine, or as many new virtual machines as, or as they're being deployed, Cohesity will automatically detect that, right? And the next time uh, the job is run, that those that one particular or however many virtual machines have been deployed with a particular tag will become part of the job. Here's an example, and I'm showing you the settings. And notice how the sixth virtual machine here is now part of that, right? The job hasn't run yet because it's not, you know, the, the schedule, the time for the schedule hasn't come up. But the next time the job runs, it will protect that virtual machine. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm basically going to uh, uh, show you here when the job was previously ran. And notice how there's only five virtual machines that were protected against the six virtual machines that I just basically showed you now after deploying a new virtual machine and adding the tag to it. So the, the next obvious thing to do here is like, I want to start the job now so that you can see that the actual protection of that sixth virtual machine uh, will become part of the job without having to change the job itself, which is uh, one of the biggest uh, valuable points here. Uh, you can see here, obviously, the process of the different virtual machines being backed up, and you can identify uh, the sixth virtual machine, which is now being backed up. Obviously, all the other ones will will finish much quicker as part of the fact that you know we're taking you know our our, our, our cohesity based snapshots. Uh, the one virtual machine. It's going to take maybe a couple of seconds longer because it's going to run. It's going to run a full, uh, you know, a full a full backup while the other ones were running uh, based on CVT. And that's basically it. That sort of level of efficiency and management uh, in a data center, uh, particularly some of the things that Cohesity is actually doing to uh, bring into market and disrupting, uh, you know, some of the things that are pain points in the data center and making them a lot better for the rest of the world. And I keep saying it, but it really doesn't get any better than this. Thank you for watching.